Hey guys, so today we will discuss different type of ECGs. Oh, so this is the first one. In this, as you can see, this is a normal P wave and a normal QRS, but this one is a broad QRS. Now, as we know that the causes of broad QRS are bundle branch block, any ectopic, ventricular ectopic, or ventricular tachycardia. Okay. Since bundle branch block will have to occur in every complex, so it is not a bundle branch block. So this is a ventricular ectopic. And as it is coming early, so it is known as premature ventricular contraction. It is having a broad QRS with discordant T wave. So whenever there is a ventricular ectopic like this, T wave will always be in opposite direction to the QRS complex. Okay. Suppose ectopic is like this, the Q wave is upright. This is a ventricular ectopic. And after a ventricular ectopic, this period is pause. And in a ventricular ectopic, the pause is generally compensated. This is a compensatory pause. As you can see, that this is a normal QRS, this is an ectopic, then a normal QRS ectopic, normal QRS ectopic, normal QRS ectopic. So this is a pattern that every normal QRS is followed, followed by ectopic, followed by normal, followed by ectopic. So ectopic is covering at every second point. So it is known as ventricular by HMP. Clear? So this is an ECG of ventricular by HMP. This is the second ECG. In this ECG, as we can see, that RR interval is irregular. This RR interval, this, this, irregularly, irregular rhythm. Yes. Now the differentials of irregularly irregular rhythm are AF, MAT, ATL, flutter with variable AV block. So this ECG belongs to any of these three things. Out of these, MAT have more than equals to three different morphologies of P waves. AF will have not appreciable P waves or fibrillary waves. And flutter will have, will have sorted P waves. In this ECG, we can see that the P waves are not appreciable. So, this is an ECG of atrial fibrillation. In MAD, we generally have one P wave like this, another P wave like this, another P wave like this. So, generally more than or equal to three different morphologies of P waves. This ECG. In this ECG, we can see that the QRS is broad, is almost four small squares. There is no P wave before any QRS, and the T waves are tall. That is, T waves are more than equal to 10 mm in chest leads or more than equals to 5 mm in limb leads or T wave more than half of amplitude of QRS. So we have tall T waves, broad QRS, absent P waves. All these points towards hyperkalemia. So in hyperkalemia, we have tall T waves, which is generally followed by broad QRS, which is generally followed by absent of P waves. And in that, we have sine wave pattern. Now this is the fourth ECG. In this, we can see that there is broad QRS. 
and different QRS are different from each other. And heart rate is almost 300. This is an ECG of ventricular tachycardia. And since morphology is different, so it is polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. The causes of polymorphic VT is long QT, which can be because of congenital long QT syndromes or acquired long QT, which can be mostly because of drugs or electrolytes. And electrolytes causing long QT are hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, and hypotelsin. All hypos. This is another ECG. In this, we can see that there is an ST elevation in lead 2, lead 3, and lead AVM. There is ST elevation in lead 2, 3, AVM. Along with, there is reciprocal ST depression in lead 1 and AVM. So this is a case of ST elevated inferior wall. Now, how to localize the vessel? Inferior wall MI can be because of RCA or LCMs. It's ST elevation in lead 3 is more than lead 2. So it is mostly because of RCA. This is a case of RCA closure. Thank you guys. So we'll continue this series and we'll keep on discussing different issues.